balance your feet straight forward, engage your core and crunch. The main focus is always your core muscles. Take it slowly and go with tempo speed. That's correct, keep that going. I trust this game, I trust this name. But I won't say I don't want to. I don't want to feel the rush, all that they ever touch. When I do it, what we're meant to do. on the floor and relax. This exercise can help you avoid lower back pain and neck tired while still working effectively on your core. And imagine you are pulling your core muscles, make them straight. This is what we are doing. Did you feel it? your toes, your arms straight, hold your tummy tight, breathe in and out and stay in this position for 30 seconds. Weight loss or pregnancy, lower back pain is very common and you're going to make it easier to enjoy. your core and long up. Just walk in and walk back. Tighten your core muscles. This is the key to get the result. That's correct. Keep that going. I'm up in the clouds when I'm Easy and effective. 
Raise your legs, your arms above the ground, and hold in this position for 40 seconds. You can see I'm breathing slowly and focus completely on my core. <laughs> Trying to connect your core muscles gradually. way I can focus on my core muscles. Of course you can rest your head on the ground if you need, but just feel which way is more effective for you. Nice on good in tempo speed. <laughs> if you need, but I feel it's more effective if you can hold it. Bit. in this first part, mountain climber hold. You can see I don't go for speed. Each move I focus on tighten my core muscles. The slower you move and hold in this position, the more effective the exercise is. <laughs> Part 2, 
still will be live within one or two days and the level is more intense. These are the exercises you can do anywhere, you know, even in bed. So no excuse, guys. Thank you so much for joining with me today. You can go for another round and I will see you. I will target your core and lower up. And half sit up position can protect your lower back and neck. The combination movements will be comfortable to perform and very effective to target your core muscles. This is what I want for you. Achieving the results with less pain tolerance. Keep going guys. <laughs> first but flutter the kick touching the ground. I want you to move in tempo speed so that you can feel your lower ab muscles working. The muscles are stretching in vertical position and that is how we connect two core muscles of two sides of your abs. Did you feel it? Use your hand to support your neck. <laughs> exercise but I want you to increase your speed and lift your legs off the ground the entire duration. Weigh a bit more cardio manner but we need to burn the fat too. <laughs> Next exercise is plank jump to beer plank. This combination movement targets your lower ab and core muscles. All your tummy tight and breathe normal. You can increase your speed. It will help burn more calories. <laughs> to keep in balance. Hold your tummy tight and bring your knee into your chest. This will help tighten up your core and then fully extend your legs. This will help stretch your core muscles. How amazing it is combination.
is low plank side leg extension. Keep your core engaged. Try to move your legs to the side while not losing your plank form. The longer you can hold your tummy, the better your results. I want you to squeeze your lower ab muscles hard before you go back to original position. That's correct. Keep that going, guys. when you do the cross. Your low back has to work in this one. 
but it's only one minute, then you can rest. Keep your movement in tempo speed and squeeze your ab muscles when you extend your legs. This exercise is effective. I recommend you to try around 10 to 20 repetitions. Your lower back might cry if you overdo it. So you know how to do and how many is enough. Thank you so much for joining with me today everyone. Remember what I always tell you in the end, you are awesome. Make it another way. Main focus is the flexibility of your spinal cord in this section. So try to squeeze your ab muscles guys. Extend your legs to the side and then raise the lower ab muscles. Moving next is plank leg cross. Keep your form straight and raise your hips a little to protect your lower back and try not to lose your form when you cross your leg. Squeeze your ab muscles everyone, that's the only way to make it work. your head, your back straight and flat on the ground. And this position gives your core to extend your legs and that's how you strengthen your core muscles in a vertical position. Feel your lower up in your core. Make sure they're doing their job. Thank you. 
touch on advanced exercise to tighten your core and lower up start slowly first make sure your hands reaches your toes before you move to the next repetition squeeze your up muscles give this exercise extra effort i know it's hard use your mind muscle connection now keep going keep pushing yourself Next move, plank walk. Start in low plank position. Walk forward, one, two, three, four, and then backward, five, six, seven, eight. Go low with your arms and raise your hips a little bit up. You will feel very great with this exercise. challenge to keep your form when you pose. That's why your core must work hard to maintain your back parallel with the floor. Do it slowly and make sure you squeeze your core muscles when you pose.
combination movements. Mountain climber twists to downward dog. I love this exercise. I always have it on my app day. That's correct, guys. Keep that going. Keep squeezing your core and ab muscles when you crunch. <laughs> since our lower back is protected and still work amazingly on our lower up in this section. Today, plank arm extension. The further you can extend your arms and legs, the more straight and flat your form is, the more effective the exercise is. This is how far I can go, holding this position as long as you can. We do it for 45 seconds. So much for joining me today everyone part four will be live tomorrow smaller weights and curve your hips and stay tuned for a complete program training bye